Hi, my name is Kim, and I'm with the Volusia County Public Library. Ancestry Library Edition is one of the best resources when it comes to genealogy. This database can be accessed on the library computers at any branch or from your own device as long as you're in one of the branches. I'll show you how to start researching your ancestors. Start with our homepage, volusialibrary.org. From there, hover over Digital Library with the mouse. Then go down to Research Databases and click on Databases A to Z. Our databases are arranged alphabetically, so you should see the link right away. If not, scroll down just a little bit until you see it and click on the link. When I begin researching a new person, I like to find them in census records first. So I'll click on search and then click on census and voter lists. For this search, I'll try to find my grandmother, Estelle Miller. I can search all years or narrow it down to a specific census year. She married in 1929 and I know where she was in 1930 and 1940. I'll see if I can find her in 1920. Estelle was a popular name, so I might have to look at a few different records. If there are too many results, I can move one or more of the slider bars on the left to narrow the search. Her middle name was Margaret, so I can eliminate results with different middle initials. I can also click on the link for 1920s on the left to narrow it down further. When I find what I want, I'll click on the link. I recognize some of the names in this record, so I know I found the right one. Estelle's mother died during the 1918 flu pandemic, so she and her sisters ended up living with other relatives. When you look at the census records, the answers in the relationship column pertain to the head of the household. This record is a prime example of different generations and relationships living together under one roof. There are a lot of people in the household, so let's break it down. The head of the household is Richard Rittenhouse. His wife is Estelle Rittenhouse, who I'll call Aunt Estelle. Patrick Callahan is Richard's father-in-law and Aunt Estelle's father. John and William Callahan are Aunt Estelle's brothers. If I didn't know Estelle Rittenhouse's maiden name already, I now know that it was Callahan. Next on the list comes my grandmother Estelle and her sister Louise. They were Richard and Estelle's nieces. The names on the census records are generally listed chronologically from oldest to youngest. People listed as servants or boarders are usually listed at the end of the list regardless of age. Boarders are sometimes relatives though, so I don't dismiss them as unimportant until I've checked them out. Scrolling back up to the main section, I see a lot of information about my grandmother. If I click on the name of someone else listed in the record, I'll see similar information on them. Usually, there are hints on the right side of the page. For some reason, there are none here for Estelle, but if I click on Richard's name, there are plenty. The hints may or may not pertain to the person I'm researching. They are only hints. It pays to check these records out, but I can't assume it's the right person. If you saw my video for Heritage Quest from December 2020, you'll notice that the page layout for the census transcript looks the same. Ancestry owns Heritage Quest, so there are some similarities. As with Heritage Quest, I can click on the link to email the record to myself or someone else. I'll enter the same email in both boxes and click on Send Document. There's also a printer-friendly view. If I click on Print, the page will reformat 
and I can print it. At the top left of the page is an image of the original census, and I can click on that to view it. It's important to look at the original image. There is often more information listed than on the printed transcript. Also, I can see who lived nearby. Relatives sometimes lived on the same or nearby street. Sometimes I'll notice a typo on the transcript by looking at the original. When looking at the original image on modern censuses, the name of the person for whom I searched is highlighted in yellow. Others in the same household are highlighted in green. I can save, print, or download the image by clicking on the Tools button, which is the crossed hammer and wrench. Clicking on the Save button allows me to send the image home or save it. If I want to save or download an image or document, and I'm using one of the library's computers, I'll remember to bring a flash drive. I can't save anything to the library computer's hard drive. If you need to adjust the image size, you can do that by rolling the mouse wheel towards or away from you, or using the slider bar on the right. Click one time with the mouse and drag it to move the image up and down or side to side. Click on the back arrow at the top left hand corner of the image to return to the transcript page. When I'm done with this search, I can click on all categories and look for other records on Estelle. Narrowing the search to another category will make the search less overwhelming. Census records are just the tip of the iceberg in Ancestry Library Edition. There are many different collections, including military, immigration, and more. If I don't see what I want the first time, it usually means I just have to dig a little bit deeper. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to visit us online at volusialibrary.org and like us on Facebook.